hello lovelies welcome and welcome back again to my channel to this video we are going to be making the perfect soft delicious homemade bread yes homemade is the best i love to make my bread at home because i know what goes in and this recipe is very easy simple and the outcome is super amazing and very very soft delicious so keep watching and please do not forget to like this video give it a thumbs up after watching and don't forget to subscribe all right so to begin with first into a large mixing bowl i've come ahead to add a little bit of milk from the milk i'm going to be using for the whole recipe and this is lukewarm milk and then i went in with some yeast now just stir to dissolve the yeast and then i went in with a little bit of sugar to bloom the yeast and let that sit for at least one minute and after one minute i'm going to go ahead and transfer in the rest of the milk rest of the sugar and then i went in with some eggs and i'm just going to go ahead and whisk all of this until everything is well incorporated all right so once that is nicely incorporated i'll go ahead and transfer in some of the flour i'm going to be using for this recipe and then i'll go ahead and add in some powdered milk and now we're going to stir to combine after stirring for a while i'm going to transfer in the rest of the flour and then i'll go ahead and add in some salt so another thing here is if you're wondering why i have all this and got a little out of it from the bread is because this recipe calls for two and it's just one dough and we are having two recipes so i'm making this uh for bread as well as donut so if you don't know you can actually use your bread dough to make donut i tell you it's very very delicious it's very very delicious and you get the perfect result as well so if you're making a uh, bread and you're also craving do not just know that you can absolutely use that one dough to make two recipe you can go for do not as well as bread so for we that have kids we know all of these things because i do this always because if i'm making bread they like to eat bread they like to eat do not so I don't just want to share myself into two, you know, making this uh, uh, one dough for bread and making the other dough for uh, donuts. So all I do is just to make everything at once and that's it. I use this one dough for two recipe. Alright guys, so after mixing and uh, we just transferred to a wax surface and then I went in with some soft butter and continue to knead this you know if you want to achieve a perfect bread you know that's soft delicious bread you have to knead the dough you have to knead the dough for at least 20 minutes need to get the perfect smooth and elastic dough so once this is smooth and elastic then your dough is ready so you can knead for 15 to 20 minutes but for me I love to give that 20 minutes I love to knead my dough for 20 minutes and this is 20 minutes later and the dough is ready so now you're going to form into a ball and then transfer to a slightly oil bowl and cover with a plastic wrap on a kitchen towel allow this to sit in a warm place for at least 40 to 50 to 60 minutes all right guys so this is 15 minutes later and the dough is ready so like you can see right now the dough has doubled in size so now we're gonna take off the wrap and then again transfer this to a clean work surface and guys just take a look at how beautiful smooth and clean the dough is very very beautiful all right, so at this stage, I'm going to go ahead and divide the dough. So when it comes to bread, I don't sprinkle the dough with uh, extra flour. So I just make it with it. So it's not going to stick because you have oil there. And this is not going to stick to your hand or to the work surface. 
so just make sure the dough is smooth and it won't stick all right so i'm gonna divide this like i said earlier we are making two recipes out of this one dough which is donut and bread so i'm gonna go ahead and show you the process of the bread but as for the donut we are not going to be showing the process that's because we don't want this video to be too long because it's already long as it's right so you're just going to divide the dough for the bread and i scaled this and i got 98 grams for each dough i just want everything to be equal which is the bread i need them to be equal and perfect so i scaled and got 98 grams and just going to roll into a ball shape just like this and make sure to seal the end part tightly and smooth this and then transfer to a baking pan and for my baking pan i lined with a parchment paper just to ensure that the bread doesn't stick to the pan. i will just cover with a kitchen towel set aside and allow them to double in size all right so for the rest of the dough this is what i got beautiful set of donuts so this is what we're going to be doing with the rest of the dough Alright guys, so once the dough has doubled in size, which is the one for the bread, we are going to be making some egg wash. So to make the egg wash, into my cup I've gone in with one egg yolk without the egg white. And then I went in with a little bit of milk as well as condensed milk. Now just whisk that to combine nicely and go ahead and brush it on the bread. And once this is done, we are going to sprinkle the top of the bread with some sugar or oh, lye, guys. I tell you, that was another level of deliciousness. It took the spread to another level of yumminess. So once you sprinkle with some sugar, transfer this to a preheated oven and bake at 170 for 20 to 25 minutes. And guys, this is it our bread is ready looking so beautiful and the kitchen smells amazing so while the bread is still very very hot go ahead and brush it with some butter and that's it your bread is ready to be enjoyed so you can go ahead and enjoy this with some beans akara coconut granite just name it anything of your choice and i tell you you can enjoy this with butter or just eat it the way it is i tell you it's so yummy soft delicious just take a look at that softness very very soft fluffy delicious homemade bread don't let anyone deceive you homemade is the best because you know what goes into your food and you know how to adjust anything you're gonna put in there all right guys so this is a very easy recipe that you can follow and if you enjoy this recipe please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet don't forget to click on the bell notification so you don't miss out on my videos and don't forget to share this video as well thank you so much for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Enjoy!